What's up, my mobile detailing people? Welcome back to another how to detail video. And uh, this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to detail a maintenance client vehicle. And uh, we had already started, but I was like, hey, Rams, let's go ahead and knock out this how-to for my peoples, you guys. So check it out. When I come and look at my maintenance vehicle, always make sure I uh, observe the vehicle, make sure, you know, there's no scratches. Do your little quick little walkthrough. And if you see something, make sure you go ahead and report it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab a bag, and I'm gonna pick up all their belongings that they left. As you can see, if I see something like this, I'm not gonna move it. This means stay away from it, because I will not be responsible for something missing or something breaking. So what I did was, I had already started picking up some trash. Me personally, I do not separate trash, because they're supposed to have that stuff removed in advance so if i get it i throw in personal stuff and trash in with it it's up to them to go ahead and go through this and get their belongings i will not throw this away i go ahead and throw it in the back let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments down below my job is to get in and out of uh, uh maintenance vehicles should only take you about personally 45 minutes to an hour once you start hitting an hour and 30 you're gonna have to start charging for uh, extra dirty feet you know, it's not a maintenance anymore. You brought this back to me and it looked like it's a full detail. But anyways, picked up all the trash. Next up, I'm gonna blow out everything. And remember, it's a maintenance. You're coming to maintain it. It's already clean. Blow everything to the front with the tornador. Dust everything off. Get in all the cracks and crevices so when I come in for the wipe down, it's even easier to clean. I don't want to rub any dirt in and any of this stuff, so go ahead and blow it out. All right, Wayne, quick question. Yes, How sir? long is something considered maintenance? A week, bi weekly, monthly, three months? What would you say? Hey, it's up to them. They can say every three days. They can have me come every day. It's up to them. Customer gets what the customer wants, but it's normally weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly. Anything over a month, um, it's not considered a maintenance because you're gonna get it back, you know, dirty. But you also need to know your client because they can say do it every month, but you're noticing when you get it, it's destroyed. Like the kids destroyed it, and I'm saying, hey, you're gonna need two weeks now because unless you want to pay an extra 50 to 100 dollars you might as well just get a full detail every time you know what i mean it's not a maintenance so that's up to you so this is a maintenance so these floor mats do not need to be pressure washed if you do that it's going to take you more time so you can spray it down and hit it with the tornador i normally will spray it down and hit it with the tornador clean it up i'm going to go in for the wipe down because if I need to knock everything down on the ground, I don't want to have to do the work over again. Vacuum, wipe down, I knock stuff down, then go back to vacuum again. It's too much work. So let's go ahead and knock the wipe down down first. And what I'm using right here is Swift. It's a conditioner and a cleaner in one. I just missed it everywhere. And with the maintenance, you don't have to pull out the Scrub Ninja and do that deep cleaning because you did that deep cleaning when you went and did the first uh, initial detail for the customer and they paid the full price. So now we're maintaining because you already did the deep cleaning. So just keep that in mind. So you're keeping the vehicle protected, the leather protected from the UV, the sun rays, keeping it conditioned, you know, so it's not looking all ashy. And just because you're doing the maintenance, that don't mean skip stuff. I make sure I still thoroughly go over everything. So this is how I clean my mats. I spray the Swift down. Clean in condition. They weren't that dirty. So now they shining. So another way to do it would be to spray it down, scrub it, pressure wash it, and let it dry out, blow it out with the air. But for a maintenance, it's really, really simple. It wasn't that dirty. The Tornador went ahead and took it, took care of all of it. Uh, 
and then you can come in here and wipe in each crack this one right here is really hard to get in each each crack and crevice which is why i went ahead with the tornador and blew it out and if you guys look closely it's clean now it's time to go in with the vacuum so that uh wipe down took me about 15 minutes vacuum should take me about eight minutes we can go ahead and time me right there ray has got I'll time me. you right now really really simple i already blew everything to the front which made my job a whole lot easier so the back seat is pretty much already clean already when you're vacuuming you have to be very careful these right here but there's little pricklies that you can see really closely these can develop uh, um, plastic separation and stuff like that that has scratched the leather so i have a lot of new guys that come out that i have to warn them hey when you're doing this blow most of it out you're pretty much pit pat and this would be just fine but be very careful with the leather as my man reyes said five minutes it should take you five to ten minutes to vacuum 15 minutes to wipe down floor mats is going to be five minutes so 15, 20, 30, it should take you about 35 minutes to 25 minutes if you quick for the maintenance on the inside. All right, next up, so we have the exterior. First thing I'm gonna do is analyze the whole vehicle, see how much dirt and grime it has on it. And that's gonna determine if we're gonna do a touchless wash. We wanna aim for the touchless wash. And what that is is just foaming the vehicle down and rinsing it off, spraying some uh, protection on their bead maker and then drying it off. That's the touchless. Now, since I see a whole lot of dirt and grime, as you can see, I'm gonna grab my IK sprayer with my all-purpose cleaner. And I'm gonna use this as the, um, the pre, pre soap before I foam it down. So this is gonna help get more dirt and grime off right here. Now you want to be careful with this because if it's summertime, you don't want to just spray this and let it bake into the paint. So always make sure you're paying attention to the weather and how much you can get away with. Now, if you have a teammate, you want to make sure he's already foaming over this as you're spraying this down. Now you can go ahead and spray the rims and tires also as the pre-soak. Loosen up all the dirt and the grime. Now with two people, you should be out of here 35, 45 minutes. With maintenance vehicles, I want to go with uh, wash and wax because I want to make sure I keep the exterior protected. So I'm going with PNS wash and wax. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to foam the whole vehicle up now. Now make sure you grab your bug off. Now I use the all-purpose cleaner. So this first round, I don't have to spray the bug off on the front, but after I rinse it down, what I want to do is spray this on the front again. So while I'm washing, I'm taking more bugs off if there's an excessive amount. So you can spray this on before with the all purpose, or you can spray it on after you rinse. So you got two different options with this one. And now I'm going to be doing the rims while that's soaking. Now you can go with the brake busters and go through the whole step. You know, wheel wells, tires, brush it, brush for the tires, all that stuff. You could do that. Or you could skip all the steps and go with the wheel acid. Now check this out. This is going to make your job a lot faster. You want to make sure you rinse your tires and rims. Now check this out. This is, this is for maintenance. Now I spray this. This is one and done. Spray it on. Now with it being in the sun, you got to spray this off fast because you don't want this to bake in there. It's going to Ruin their rims. Now all you have to do is spray the tires. And what I do is I'll spray brake busters on here too to, to diffuse any other wheel acid that was left behind. Tires. Right. 
and don't forget under here. Simple as that, done. Repeat, all the way around. Now, if you are not comfortable with using wheel acid and you're paranoid, do not use the wheel acid, but I'll make sure you're properly trained, whoever's working with me, to feel confident with using it. Now, it's gonna make your job a lot easier. And by the way, this is diluted six ounces. I don't have it half and half. I have it so, so low. So I, I don't have problems. So just to let you guys know, this is in highly diluted. And by the way, if you guys are wondering why I'm wearing sweats, you guys never see me in sweats in any of my videos. I just came from the gym. So let y'all know, I got my pants in the vehicle. I'm gonna be swapping this out and getting dressed more accordingly. This is a client here, it's like family. So I can get away with it. So my objective when I'm rinsing is I'm not just freely rinsing like this. I'm actually looking for bugs, grime, because you want to make your job easier when you're going for the wash so you could just gently just wash. Now, if you leave a lot of grime and bugs and stuff, guess what you're going to want to do? So get as much of it off as you can as possible. And make sure you got a nozzle like this. See the mist? You don't have to worry about chipping paint off. So make sure you got a nozzle like this. Always make sure I hit the bucket because it activates the suds. And I always make sure I clean my mitts. So I have grit guards all around my buckets. You could just scrub it just like that. I like to grab all four. And if you're with somebody, you grab two. All right up here, let me grab my bug spray. So I miss this in right here so I can rub it in to make sure if there's any bug or grime left, this is gonna pick it up. If I don't get it all up from my wash, then the last final step is gonna be the pressure washer getting it up. And a lot of the times it's on the windows. Spray it down on the windows, on the mirrors. I could have did this before I foamed it, but sometimes if you forget, you can still apply it just like this. Wash mitts right here. So I'm gonna start with the top. All right, so tell me how many of you guys have became best friends with this hitch right here as you're washing. This could be your best friend. Hey, drop it down in the comments down below how much damage this thing has done. You know, that walking by and bing will ruin your whole day. May even send you to the hospital, so be careful. <laughs> Beware. So I just knocked out the whole top. Get under the windshield wipers. Done. Now I can knock out the whole front. I flip my mitt after I finish that whole half. Everything is organized. Not all over the place. This right here, you're gonna need the brush. You know what? I always thought this was unnecessary, but when you look at the car and you're done with your finished work, you'll start to see dirt and grime in here that you could have got if you wasn't being lazy and didn't skip this step, man. And I've been lazy a couple times and had to come back and work even harder, just like being cheap. You end up having to spend the money again because you was being cheap. And whatever you didn't did, they didn't do the work properly or you didn't get your money's worth, it broke down. So, let me just do it right the first time, man. Now for the sides. Top to bottom, mirror. You remember you did your pre-soak. So now everything, all the dirt and grime is easily coming up. Hey, anybody that's, that's made it this far in the video, 
hey check out the next video the next video is going to be about how to fix the seals on your pressure washer now as a beginner detailer i got out there in the field my seal broke as you can see it's leaking right here see it that eventually will bust and you will not be able to wash your whole body's going to be soaked and i remember doing details and i didn't know how to fix this so my whole body was wet and i was just getting through the details just getting wet up so Stay tuned for the next video on how to fix the seal inside your pressure washer. Really simple. And for the new beginners, I made a whole playlist of how to detail video. So make sure you guys go on over there and check it out and just put it on, put it on play and it's going to go through the whole line right there, you guys. Check it out. All right, Wayne, what are we at now and 27 minutes later? 27 minutes, so the car is wet. Of course, we got spot-free water. So go on and take your time, no rush. So I'm going to go grab my... So I got options. I use, shout out to Suds Lab. We got the ceramic spray sealant, or you can use bead maker, or what else we got? Or you can use paint gloss, so you got options. So I'm gonna put on the ceramic sealant. We got a little bit left. I like to spray it on while the car is wet. Makes your job a whole lot easier when you come next time. So this vehicle was a little bit more dirty because of the rainy weather. It's been about two weeks since I've been here inside was kept maintained but the outside is only so much you could do with it so could have been worse so now when i dry this is not me i get on my employees about this they stay in one spot i said if you don't grab that towel you'll do the perfection after you get the gist of the water damn run across run across go 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 so if you got two guys doing this See, Reyes can't even keep up with me. See, y'all keep up, keep up. Oh, I did it, y'all. I hit my leg. Didn't hurt too bad, but it could have been worse. All right. I guess that's one reason to not do that. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go inside. Any water that's dripping, anything that's left over, I'll touch up as soon as I finish the inside. So now we're gonna hit the door jams coming in. Back. There it is. And then we got windows, tire shine, and that's a wrap. So what I'll do is to have my tires prepped and ready to go, I'll grab a towel, dry them off real quick, run around. Because if you try to put on tire shine while they're wet, the tire shine won't properly apply. It'll turn right back to its original Original setting. I like to use paint gloss for the door jams. So I'll come around. Spray that. Gives it an extra shine when you go ahead and do that. All right, so this is how I apply tire dressing. I like to mist it on and let it sit. I won't touch it. And then whatever excess that I've sprayed <clears throat> on the rims, I got a towel to wipe it off. You can also use an air compressor and spray it on. I just think this is the quicker option to do it this way versus grabbing your air compressor, putting it on, and that's how I like to do it. So I'll come, and you gotta be smooth with this too. I've seen people oversaturate an area. You gotta be smooth. And it really hardens and dries up, you guys. So you don't have to worry about sling. I come back from my maintenance to my maintenance and I never see any black stuff all on the sides. It doesn't leave sling, you guys. And this is gonna be your Shine All by PNS. And also if you want an extra shine, my final one, these rims are really dull. You're not really gonna get a shine out of them. So I do wanna show you this final rim on what I would normally do. these rims with paint gloss. The final touch up, you guys. I don't touch the dash or these plastic parts. Because remember, I was using um, PNS Swift, and that's gonna leave uh, um, a lot of the conditioner, make the, it makes the plastic look uh, really shiny and how do I put it? 
when something is caked on, Rez. Got it. It's caked greasy. There it is. It makes it look greasy. So you want to come in with your, I like to use paint prep. My PNS. And I come in here and touch up all the plastics. And anything that got touched and it's looking all greasy, I'll touch that up. But pretty much, that's a wrap for this video, you guys. Touching the last of it up. That's the maintenance vehicle. Rez, let us know the time. It is 42 minutes for that stereo and finishing touches. 42 minutes, but for, but we did talk. So take about what, 15 minutes off with the talk? Sure. All right, take 15 off. So what's that total? Together? I know the first one was about 25 minutes. Okay. And this one was 42 minutes. So it totals an hour and seven minutes. Hour and seven minutes. There it is, guys. So just imagine if you had help that would cut that down dang there in half, you guys. So this is just by yourself. So I would say an hour is what you want to um, aim for. 45 minutes to an hour, even, even by yourself, you guys, because it's really so simple with the maintenance. That's a wrap. I appreciate you guys tuning in for the video. Hey, I send them an invoice and I'm headed to my next one. Next one is at 1130. We have a full interior shampoo and a wash. Me and Ray is gonna knock out another how-to on that one. So you guys stay tuned. Hey, in the comments down below, let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see. In this video specifically, if you made it to the end, drop it down in the comments and me and Reyes are gonna try to knock out what you guys are looking for. Guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. We out.